Every summer on Soldor, there'll be a party of scouts in the forest doing whatever a scout should do. They are always busy, but never forgets to wave at an engine passing by. Duncan didn't get why they always spend their summer in the forest, so his driver explained it to him. They've come for their annual camp. It's like a holiday for them if they have nothing to do. They would always make campfires or explore nature or tell each other scary stories. You know, just for fun and help them out. That's how they'd spend their summer vacation? Ha! What a joke! I don't see the point of that! Well, for this year, under Sir Topham Hatt's permission, they'll help make that dam better. So we won't have to deal with it with being wet and frosty whenever the cold weather arrives. Duncan was very pleased to hear that. He remembered stopping right in the middle of the dam and Scarloy had to drag him out of there. Except there weren't any fence lines in case someone had to climb down the engine or the coaches. He couldn't wait to see what it'll look like when the scouts finish it. One day, the summer heat was so hot that no one could even go to the relaxing beach. The scouts were very hot and sweaty. But at least they were able to continue their work. When Duncan passed by, the scouts waved at him. He thought they were waving at him, so he blew his whistle, but then he heard them shouting for him. He wasn't sure what they were calling him for. Then he looked ahead of him and saw the scout leader standing on the tracks waving a red flag. So he came to a stop to see what was the matter with them. What seemed to be the problem, kid? I should know, today is very hot and we're all exhausted. But we don't have anything to drink to keep us refreshed. Can you find some liquid for us like soda or water for us, please? Duncan knew that he had to do another run with his coaches after the one he's doing. But if he makes it quick, he can come back with what they need and get back to the coaches liggity splick. Sure I can. We'll see what we can find. And he continued his journey to the station. He's not a fan of passengers, but he cares about the scouts since they're doing something for the engines. When he got to the station, his driver walked in to find any liquid the scouts could have, but came out disappointed. What's the matter, driver? <sighs> the refreshment aisles are completely empty. Everyone is so hot today that we're thinking the same thing. What are we going to do now? Duncan wasn't sure, but then he got thirsty as well. Oof, you're right. It is very hot today. I think I need a drink as... I just got an idea! Really? What is it? Well... Why not go to the station that's by the lake? I'm sure there's some over there. Duncan, that's genius. We'll go over there real quick and grab what we can and then go to the scouts. And come back here before it's time to do the next run. Let's get going. So Duncan and his crew immediately went to the lake to see if there's anything at all. Thankfully, there was. Soda cans and water bottles that his driver knew the scouts would love to have. So he bought as many as he could and they puffed back to the forest. The scouts stopped what they were doing. They can't even move another muscle or else they'll pass out. Then they heard a familiar whistle. They were very happy to see Duncan and his crew with a big box of refreshments for them. They immediately got up to their feet and ran up to them. They cheered and thanked the driver. Oh, don't thank me. Thank Duncan. Without his idea, you wouldn't have had these to get you kids cooled off. So they turned to Duncan and thanked him instead. You're very welcome, kids. Now don't let the sun get the best of you again for the rest of the day. Otherwise, that fence line won't be complete till winter time. Don't worry. We'll make sure that these will help us and they won't drink all of it in under one hour. But thank you again very much for your help. 
we would have been spreading so much to the point that we melted into multiple ponds. Everyone laughed, and Duncan had to go back to his coaches. So they said their goodbyes, and he puffed away. Most of the time, he's just a total grump who has nothing to do but complain about anything. But today was one of those days where he feels very happy and feels very useful. Now he knows that scouts aren't like passengers, and he has someone to say hello to, other than the engines, of course.